Yeah, guys, we're going to be talking about the Tesla price. The TSLA price could crash soon. Could Tesla price crash soon, guys? And we're going to be looking at the stock price chart for Tesla and talking about it, talking about Tesla, talking about the tariffs on China. Um, so this is the, <clears throat> this is the one month chart of Tesla we're looking at at the moment. This is not financial advice, by the way, just my opinion. And I call it right most of the time. I called right the mini stock market crash 2024 before it happened. The Tesla price fell then. Obviously, it's risen since, but why could Tesla price be crashing? Well, let's look at the chart, guys. Um, you can see, like, when it was super high back October 2021. Since three years, you can see, really, it's been making lower highs from here. You know, you see it down lower, lower. Obviously, it crashed down to to um, hundred dollars there. But if we go back from here, you see it's basically making lower highs. And obviously, you got that hundred dollar range, and then you got this hundred and forty dollar range, and then it's lifted up, and it surged once again after after the election or into the election and then after the election surged to 361 it's pulled back since then to 340 but you've got obviously tesla you know they expanded um they're in China, selling cars in China, but now you've got talk of tariffs on China, you know, China goods, including EVs. And yet, Tesla get a good deal in China. You know, they're not hit by high tariffs. I think the tariffs they do pay are like under 8%. Um, and then they've got deals on land, deals on raw material for batteries etc etc like they've got a good deal and and um you've got the basically you know you've got elon musk in government now and in, in um go, going to be in the in the, in the um, administration in the us and you've got um you know you've got them talking about tariffs right so china can just you know flick a switch right they could flick a switch and say to basically their people listen you know you're not going to buy american cars you're not going to buy um tesla right you're going to buy chinese you're going to buy byd or liotto or neo right you're not you're not going to buy tesla What's that going to do to Tesla sales? What's that going to do to Tesla sales, guys, in China? We've already seen a slowdown uh, last month, October, and into this month, we've seen BYD sales taking over Tesla sales. So you can imagine if people stop buying Tesla, Right, number one in China, if they stop buying Tesla, it's going to hurt Tesla sales. It's going, it's going to hurt them guys big time. Right, that's number one. Number two, Tesla. The cost of Tesla, you know, the cars are too high, price too high, as you got um, inflation rising and continuing to rise in America. So. To basically the cost people can't afford it right the cost is too high and they want chinese 
you know, cars, right? They want Chinese EVs. They know that it's cheaper. And that's what the fight's all about. It's geo geopolitical, dirty, you know, economic warfare, trade warfare. Um, and, you know, it's not, it's not the fault of the Chinese, is it? It's not the fault of China that America, you know, they've got so much debt that's been mounting up year on year, building up. And um, the costs are just too too great, right? So this is um, this is how you can see sort of like Tesla, if their sales drop, you know, in China and their sales drop in the US, and also, you know, their technology is pretty like not outdated, but it's not as advanced as what the Chinese are now are doing you know with um the ai semiconductors i mean like neo you know they've got the 5nm 5 nanometer um chips and it's high tech guys it's high tech right so tesla are behind the curve also you've got like neo Coming out with a Firefly, right? A cheaper, you know, a cheaper vehicle. Um, cost, cost a lot less, right? It's affordable, basically. A Tesla, they haven't even got one, right? So that's why they're trying to keep China out of America. So just in my, just my opinion, on top of that, in the next, how, how low is it going to go? Tesla, how, how much it's going to crash by in the next stock market crash, right? You see, you see it like the evidence is there. I'm not making this up, right? That's the price chart of Tesla, right? You see it. There's the price action of Tesla. So it's struggling to keep, keep go up. It's struggling. That was based on the election. You can discount that, right? Because it was sitting around Tesla stock. Right, it was sitting around what 240, 230 around here, struggling to go up at this point. So you can forget all this, right? This is all hype based on the election. It was struggling, it was basically going to head down low again to around 140. That's where it was heading. That's that's that is the overall direction, right? So that's what I'm saying, guys, it's being propped up. Tesla stocks being propped up. And now they're talking about, you know, possible exclusion from California's electric vehicle rebate program. So you've got like states trying to, you know, punish Tesla based on, you know, the political, political aspects, etc. So that could hurt Tesla's stock price as well. Um, so you've got to take in all these factors into consideration, right? Um, so it's only a ma matter of time based on the price action. It's only a matter of time before, I mean, look at that. You see it up there making lower lows as on the way down. It's only a matter of time before Tesla stock comes crashing down. And it will probably crash down lower than a hundred dollars. Now that is quite a significant, you know, chunk of loss. You know, down to a hundred dollars or less. That's quite significant. And you can see, like, it's gearing up for a crash. It's gearing up for a crash. Like it happens here when you got this long green month here on the month chart, and then it sort of peaked higher. What happened? Basically, that was it bottom fell out you see and um even when it tried to get when it fell here and tried to get back up this month just fell again same thing happened here tried again just crashed all the way down and obviously because it crashed so much pumped up somewhat but only up to this level crashed down again and then you got this election build up and the election result here going into the high so 
that's the situation. I think people they're too much into Tesla, too much into Elon Musk. They don't realise that a lot of these kind of stocks uh, are manipulated, right? They're manipulated in um, kind of like um, a Ponzi, pump and dump Ponzi. <laughs> so they don't realise it, right? Uh, they're all into buying, buying. But you know when they say buy, buy, you know, you know, you know, you should be selling, selling, not financial advice, right? But it's too much hype. It's too much hype for Tesla and other stocks like it. Um, they're talking about all-time highs. They're talking about, you know, they're talking about going into all-time highs, etc. Guys, this is not this is not Bitcoin, right? This is Tesla, and Tesla's got problems. So it's prone to look it, 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 even without the problems, it's prone to stock market crash. And obviously, yeah, if everyone buys it, it's gonna be pumped up. But if people go away from it, yeah, if investors turn their back on it because of the problems it's facing and the problems building up then it's not going to make higher highs. It's going to, even if it does, it's going to crash hard. The higher it goes, the harder it's going to crash, right? So that's what I'm saying, that it's building itself up for a crash. It's struggling. It's struggling to get back up. And it's all, as you see, when it, when it, when it went into that rise there and then, made a big surge up. It's all based on politics and hype. Otherwise, where should it be, the stock? I mean, when you go and look from where it came, what is that telling you? What is that telling you? It's not a gradual rise, right? It's not, it's not like a growth stock, you know, like an Apple or an Amazon. It's not like a growth stock. What it is, it's like a Ponzi, right? Everyone's got in um, basically in, in COVID, right? 2020, 2021. What you're seeing here really is a slow motion uh, GameStop, you know, situation where GameStop went up so high and crashed, right? This is a slow motion, it's been propped up. So that's the point guys, like just in my opinion, be be aware of it, right? Because it when it cra when it crashes, in my opinion, it will. It could go down to even fifty dollars, right? It can go down to even fifty dollars, so. So just be, you know, just, um, I don't know if you're day trading it, if you're, if you're an investor, if you're a swing trader. I think that it's hard, difficult to say when it will crash, but I think as we go into 2025, you might get some, you know, as it as it comes down, you might get some upticks, but I think as you as we go, like after, let's say the admini new administration begins in January, I, th I think that as we go into March, April, twenty twenty five, I think that's when you've got to like be careful i think that's when i think that's when it possibly could begin to really lose a lot of um you know a lot of its stock price march april i would say i would say march april i would say you will see this down to 200 dollars if not lower and if there is a stock market crash on top of the problems, Tesla, 
Tesla has, building up at least, I think then no one knows, you know, as I said, it could go down to $50, certainly go to $100. So I think at the moment people are thinking, oh, yeah, well, it's going to make new, you know, higher high, it's going to make a new high, everyone's hyped up, you know, crypto's up certain stocks are up and but there's problems building up for tesla guys just in my opinion right um and i think it's gonna crash probably as i said if not the first quarter 2025 certainly the second quarter of 2025 